Good morning, everybody. Eric, Secretary Machine. Today I'm out in the shop. It's uh, Thursday, and it's uh, raining here in the Pacific Northwest today. I just got my son off to school, and I'm out here uh, thinking I'll get my putter on for the day and just kind of hang out in the shop and work on some of these little projects. Uh, last time I left you guys, I was working on the uh, servo power feed for the X, which is now up and running, as you can see here. Uh, project came out really nice. Uh, the one thing that I didn't have available to me is that I've got it kind of artificially shimmed. If you've ever worked on these, uh, the gear mechanism in there, it's got to be sheared or uh, it's got to be uh, set right so that there's enough clearance between the two gears. And so you're supposed to do those with uh, some of these little guys. Usually they're brass. I could only find them in stainless on Amazon, but these will these are in different thicknesses. Um, these will have to work at least for now. I figure if the stainless causes something to wear, I've got more of them. I can add another later on. But uh, so I've got this basically artificially shimmed. Um, I'm basically using the set screw here to set it right right now. But uh, really, to get it right, I need to go in there and do that. I still need to. Uh, clip off the end of this and then basically the power feed will be done and operational you can see that the new wheel for the lathe has arrived it's not a direct uh a direct install the shaft is longer so i need to lop the shaft off of this uh at the right length the uh the set screw hole is in the right space spot um but it's longer so it actually it runs into my electrical box over here. So I just need to set the length right on that. Uh, I ran up to Grizzly uh, yesterday or the day before. I, it's all a blur. Um, picked up some of these. I've got a bunch of V-blocks, but I don't have any that have the uh, the strap part for it, the uh, clamp down. So I got myself a matching set of those at the Grizzly for like 40 bucks, uh, which is something that I've wanted for a long time. So kind of a come up for me as far as uh my v-block situation goes um any excuse to get another tool i'm good with it right so what i'm going to work on today is when i bought this machine there's a wire that comes out here that goes to the power switch and the plastic piece which is just like a piece of it's like a conduit piece, right? It goes, it makes this attach to the machine and then the wire runs through it. I thought, you know, I just waltz into any old store and buy that, like at Home Depot, Lowe's. No, you can't get this. And actually I've got about two days invested in trying to find one. You can get similar, but they didn't have enough reach to span this gap on the cast iron. And so, I finally yesterday went to an electrical uh, supply house and said, hey, what, the, what is the deal with this? And the guy told me that the problem with this is that this wouldn't meet code in the USA. And so it wouldn't be legal to run here. And that's why they don't sell them. You could buy something really similar, but it wouldn't work on my application. And so like two afternoons into like going to all sorts of different places trying to figure that out i finally think i've got a solution originally i bought some of these thinking that you know i'd just stick one of these on there but i didn't at that point i didn't realize that i didn't have the length i would need and so i think what i'm finally going to do is still run one of these it finally dawned on me i'm just going to take a piece of scrap aluminum from out, from out in the uh, pannier shop and make myself a little square plate here and uh, drill it for this and then i'll drill and tap some screws around the outside of it and uh, do it that way and i'm not going to run the uh the conduit i think the conduit's kind of ugly and you know how i feel about pretty tools right um i think what i'm going to do instead is just run the uh this stuff is nice and it's thick I, i'm just going to run it like this so you can see I've got stuff torn apart here so that I can get that all completely uh, wired correctly. Now I've also got this back plate taken off. And what I'm gonna do is down here at the bottom, I'm gonna add a power outlet. So I've got this box that's gonna be mounted to the back. It's gonna get a two outlet guy on there. And uh, basically what this is gonna be for is so that 
The mill itself will have a spot to plug in accessories. I'll be able to run the DRO, and then also I'm going to uh, I'm going to put some sort of probably like a small LED lamp. Um, I've got one here someplace. Where is it? Oh, these little round ring lamps are actually pretty good. They put out a lot of light, and so this guy and it's got a clamp on there. The one thing I'm not happy with with these is that they don't tend to hold the arm in place very well. I wish this part was stronger. So I may come up with something different in terms of a lamp, but I definitely want the lamp and the DRO to be able to have their own power. Uh, also starting to think about how I want to mount my mist cooler. When I bought, I bought a couple of these at the same time off of Amazon. I got cute with it and decided I was going to just epoxy um, a couple of these really strong magnets on here. Well, really strong, yeah, but not strong enough. So actually, I just kind of was screwing around thinking, you know, I wonder what it'd be like if I stuck it up in there. It's actually pretty good. Um, but I want to probably drill and tap a spot for that, maybe on the side here so that it swings down. Um, so that's something that uh, I'm starting to think about. I'm not sure I'll get that to that today. Mostly I think I'm going to work on the electrical stuff and uh, probably just finalize having the power feed on here. Tell me that's not awesome. Oh, and so I was talking about the uh, these two bolt holes that were stock. Um, they weren't quite far enough apart to get the uh, travel limiter on there. And so I had to mill just a little bit out of this side, but it's okay because it's hidden with the washers. So you can't really tell that the pocket's been sort of made oblong just slightly. Probably, I don't think I did, but maybe 12th hour or something uh, to get it to where it would work. I still need to make myself um, some stops here uh, so that when it travels across, it hits the button. So I really like these ones that are on the closing. And I thought these were stock, but I think somebody now actually, somebody made these. So I might make myself like a direct copy of these. These are nice. Um, something like that for the, uh, the front here needs to happen. Um, Maybe I'll finish up the wheel today, too, and get it mounted onto the lathe. I'll be glad to have that up and running right. So, anyhow, Eric's Secondary Machine, I will uh, putter and talk to you all later.